the line with Charles Esten. Okay, so I, I have to ask you because I'm a huge fan. I've been a fan <laughs> of the show um, since the first, the beginning, okay? Um, and I was the one, you probably heard me during the episode where you're sitting there on the couch at the very end, the one before the final, where you're sitting with a bottle in your hand, and I'm the yep. one that was screaming, don't do it, don't do it. I, I heard you. You heard I me. heard that. <laughs> I was the Some one. people think it was Raina calling that no. made me put it down, no, but it it, I heard you your voice. You looked at the phone and it said Jerry, and you said, okay, I can't take that drink. I just can't do it. Uh, yeah, and I have to tell you. Exactly. No, that was that was a tough one, and um, and uh, I think a lot of people were yelling at the TV right then, including my own family is the funny part. They they know very well it's a character, but they get caught up, too, and that well, means yeah. everything. Well, and, and that's the whole beauty of that show is the people that love that show really, really got into all of their favorite characters. And and but, I loved the storyline. And that tells you it was A, well written, and B, well acted. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, that's very kind. I mean, the, the, you're right, though. The depth of uh, passion and connection with our audience is, is it's unbelievable, and it's, and it's been that way since the very start. And to be honest, it's why we're not potentially finished here. Um, Lionsgate, although we're not going to be on ABC anymore, Lionsgate is talking about uh, sending up some other places. Right now they're in negotiations and talks with people, and it's not lost on them while that's happening that, uh, you know, last week uh, we weren't even on, and we still trended on Twitter. <laughs> uh, br- hashtag bring back Nashville, oh. and Nashville rewind and then there's a petition with over 160,000 signatures. I love that. Um, there's a whole bunch of people saying they want to find out what happens next. Well, because it was supposed to be the end of the season, not, not the, the end, end of, of the, the series, show. you left a big cliffhanger out there. Yeah, well, that was one thing that's uh, pretty interesting is usually when a series is, you know, seemingly coming to an end, you don't leave a cliffhanger. Right. Exactly. So that's exactly. one of the things that leaves us a little optimistic that uh, we might get a chance to, uh, you know, to take everybody off that cliff and, and start up another season. Uh, I'm very uh, hopeful. Uh, if that doesn't happen, though, let me just say that you're not going to find anybody who's more grateful uh, for the four years that we have had. And, I mean, it opened up so many uh, amazing worlds for me. This is not only a dream come true, this show, but it's a whole bunch of dreams come true. And maybe the biggest of all is uh, it's giving me this opportunity to perform music again. That's where I started out. And to get to come do shows at places like Fort Sill is uh, is just still pretty unbelievable to me well you've you've had a very uh well a varied career i mean not only now doing nashville and of course a long career as an actor and now doing music but you've you've done improv comedy <laughs> which just wouldn't expect that from somebody doing a role like deacon claiborne no yeah a lot of people uh for a while there every season there's a f- uh, more people sort of it clicks uh, there's a tweet that i see all the time that says uh, different people tweeted, say, just realize that Charles Eston from Nashville is uh, Chip Eston from Whose Line Is, is It, it Anyway? anyway? <laughs> and, and it always has the same hashtag. It says, mind blown. It was. Mind blown. <laughs> so that's, that's very, very flattering. I guess it's obviously different ways to perform and different, you know, it, it seems like a different guy, but it's all the same guy wrapped up in I there. I recognized you from the show, from, from Whose Line Is It Anyway? Long before I recognized you from Nashville. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's that's that way for a lot of people, and and you know how it is when you when you picture somebody one way, it's hard to picture yeah. them another. Yeah. So I'm I'm very grateful that sometimes you can get uh, you know held down to that one one thing, and I'm very grateful everybody uh, went along for the ride and got to see you know me in this other light well, and play this other guy. That would be like... Drew. And uh, actually, it's a lot of fun. Uh, something that's about to happen, I told you we're heading over for the Nashville tour in the U.K., completely coincidentally some of my whose line is it anyway friends are over in london uh, getting ready to perform in the west end and the very day i get to london they happen to be performing at the palladium that night in london oh my God. And, and they asked me along so i'm going to be doing improv well, oh, I, love uh, it. Throw, I haven't done improv in like four years since i've been doing uh, whose line really <laughs> with like one exception um so uh 
it's going to be interesting being thrown out on the ice again with those unbelievably funny skaters. So well, you, it'll you, be it'll be something. You know, featuring you know, for some people uh, <laughs> thinking of you doing doing comedy would be like uh, picturing Drew Carey doing Macbeth. <laughs> well, I would like to see that. By the way, I think oh I, I think he'd do a heck of a job. That would be crazy. <laughs> Let me ask you something about going back to music. Now, was there ever a time on the show that they said, "Hey, we can get somebody to sing for you"? And instead of singing your own parts yourself, no, no, that would that would have been opposite of everything that they had intended from the very beginning. Um, uh, from Steve Buchanan, uh, who who initially uh, conceived so much of this idea uh, of the show Nashville, to Callie Curry, our creator, uh, who of course wrote Thelma and Louise and his, uh, so many other great movies. She is the creator of the show, and her husband. Uh, of course, T-Bone Burnett was our first year, did all of our music. And they know from the very beginning that they didn't want that. They wanted authenticity. They wanted the voice you hear to be the voice, the person you see. So that was always part of the audition process. When we all went in, we didn't just do scenes. We actually played a couple songs as well uh, on guitar. I remember bringing my guitar in in front of... Wow. Uh, Callie and R.J. Cutler and the casting director there and um, just playing a couple of my songs and doing a couple scenes as this guy Deacon and uh, I knew very, very well this was uh, the best role that I'd ever gone out for Uh, and um, I just crossed my fingers and ended up getting it. T-Bone Burnett, you guys couldn't get anybody who really knew country (laughs) music at all? Exactly, right? Well, that's that's one of the reasons we started off on such firm footing and then he left the second season but he left it in the extraordinarily capable hands of Buddy Miller, who yep. had been with us all the first season yes. anyway. And, uh, and T-Bone, of course, uh, being Callie's husband, we're still co- all close to him and uh, so grateful for his gift to the show. Well, you've already answered my next question, what's next for you? What's next is we're waiting. We're <laughs> waiting to find out, right, it, whether, whether oh, Nashville yeah. is going to continue. Uh, you are not kidding. Um, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm a more optimistic person than Deacon tends to be. <laughs> so I'm not reaching the for the yet? bottle yet. Um, I still got hope that, um, you uh. know. And the funny thing is, is our, our show, again and again, that's a recurring theme, funnily enough. Uh, there's a, a song that uh, Deacon sings with Maddie in, in I think it was the second season, called uh, You Keep Me Believing. And uh, so there's a, there's a there's a through line of optimism and hang in there, and uh, that, that's what I would say to all the Nashies uh, everywhere that are so supportive of us and of this show. Uh, they keep us believing, and, and we want them to keep believing uh, until we find out otherwise. We're definitely in with a shot. And until then, if you can't be watching the show, why don't you come on out and watch? Uh, watch us play the mu- play our music. Uh, Claire Bone and I uh, have been going on the road together a whole bunch, and, and that's a whole lot of fun. Not only do we each play our own set, but um, I join her for uh, a duet in, in her uh, set, and she joins me for a couple in mine, and uh, we, ha- we have a whole lot of fun getting to go out and meet the people that, um, that love our show. Well, and the question I have regarding your music, you know, uh, you're going to be here with Cassidy Pope. You're going to be here with David Nail. David Nail has a brand-new album out. Cassidy Pope's got a brand new EP out. Claire's got a new has got an album out. Uh oh. Okay, come on, come on, Chip. <laughs> yeah, slacking, buddy. are you calling me a slacker? You're slacking, uh, because buddy. come on. It, 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 it's it's guilty. Uh, guilty as charged. <laughs> I've got a whole lot of music I've been writing and I've been uh, cutting for a long time. So I am definitely at that point right now where it is time to put up or shut up. So it will it will be happening very very soon. Nice, nice. Well, we cannot wait to see you Saturday, June 25th, Fort Sills Polo Field, along with Claire Bowen, Cassidy Pope, and David Nell, Fort Sills Summer Concert. Charles, thank you, Chip. Charles, what do you want me to call you? <laughs> well, uh, generally, wherever it's written, it's Charles, and that's how people know it's me okay. from the show, but everybody I know, all my friends call me Chip. Well, I, I don't think I'll ever Chip, outgrow okay? that, so <laughs> Chip it is. When you get to town, Chip, you got to come in and have a cup of coffee with us. We coffee would with love it. it. That sounds fantastic. And uh, are you guys going to be there on the day? Hopefully, oh, you yeah. can come on out and say hi to us we there. Will be there. Absolutely. Full force. We'll see you then. Right. Thank I you look so forward much. to seeing uh, everybody at Fort Sill. Uh, so grateful for our men and women in uniform and all their amazing families and all they sacrifice. There's no place I'd rather play, nowhere I'd rather be in the world. One of our favorite episodes ever we did at Fort Campbell. 
And, uh, and I, I told everybody from the very beginning of the show, if you're going to do country music authentically, there needs to be a connection to the military because that, uh, that is the truth of country music. And I'm just so excited uh, that I get to be a part of that connection right awesome. now. Awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing you on Saturday, June 25th up at Fort Sill. Thank you so much for right. joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys.